All right, guys. So I have not fired the LE for quite some time, so I figured I'd better fire it, put a little drop of oil on there and whatnot, using a 6 CO2. <clears throat> but I just, I wanted to make a video here real quick. Um, a sheriff buddy of mine, I asked him his opinion on the LE, <clears throat> and he says he loves it. And I explained to him, a lot of people complain about it dropping FPS very quick. You only get two, three, four good shots. And what he said actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I thought I would kind of share with you guys in short. He said, <clears throat> and he kind of looked at me and leaned over and said, you know, when the LE came out, it was for law enforcement, not civilians. And obviously I said, yeah, I know that. And he went on saying, you know, when we use the LE for less lethal, we're not rapid firing like you guys are doing with the LE. He said, usually we'll give two, three shots and we'll pause for a short time giving commands. And then we'll fire off another couple shots or so. And if that fails, then we start resorting to our firearms. And they go from there. Now, I found that interesting because I really never thought of that, you guys. Um, I don't Actually, I don't think any of you actually thought about it. No offense. Um, so we're going to give that theory a try. I actually haven't done that yet. And we're going to do it right now with the Pro Chrono. And we're just going to go like... We're going to do a seven round mag, burn a kinetics. Because I asked him, how many mags do you guys generally use? And he came around and said, we usually only use one mag. When that fails, we're going to our firearm. And obviously, if, like he said, you know, if one, if one officer has the LE less lethal, if there's two, three other officers, they already got their firearms drawn. So... And it all kind of actually made sense to me. So we're going to test that theory right now. After I pause this video so I can turn the camera around on the Pro Chrono. And like I said, I haven't fired it for a while, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I did forget to check all the screws to see if they're snug, but they should be fine. Uh, we're using Sig Sawyer CO2, 12 gram, obviously. Um, and Burner Kinetics, we're just going to do... We're going to do the first mag, seven rounds, and then maybe for fun, while pausing in between, like he had mentioned they do, we'll see the FPS, and then I'll do a quick uh, seven round mag, um, sort of the same way, just to see what happens. So I won't bore you guys no more with the talk. We'll uh, get this video going. I'm going to pause it and turn it around, and we'll get to going. All right, guys, so I'm back. I paused it. I turned the camera around. I went ahead and checked all the screws really quick. And everything seems snug. So let's give that theory a chance. So here we go. I'm going to puncture the seal too. Okay, no leaks. So we're going we're gonna to fire it just like he had mentioned the way they do it. Uh, how it was originally meant for. So let's see. All right, we'll wait a few seconds. Kind of as if I was giving commands. Um, and then we'll go from there. FPS is probably a little lower because I did put a drop of oil on there. That always lowers FPS. So, all right, let's, let's assume commands are over. 
fire off another couple shots. Officers are talking to the suspect. So far, seems like he wants to comply, but he's taking another step forward. So we fire off the rest of the mag real quick. Mag's empty. Let's assume that he's finally starting to comply, getting on his hands and knees. Uh, we're talking to him for a few minutes. Assume that's what how they're doing it. Trying to talk to him, calm him down more, de-escalate it. As an officer walks up, slowly approaching him. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in another seven round mag, burn a kinetics, just in case the weapon's out of his hand and I got to re engage less lethal, giving the officer enough time to tackle him to the ground. Um, so let's see. By now, he's staying down. Uh, officer has him cuffed in custody. Stayed above 300 FPS. First mag wasn't that bad. Um, would be higher, but I just oiled it. That I didn't think about firing it beforehand. We'll do this again later. Um, Let's just see what we got left in this mag. All right, well, that was the second mag and um like I said, they only go through one mag. Generally, I just decided to throw in another mag. Uh, let's just review those numbers real quick. Let's just jump down to seven. First mag, okay, so that was a seven shot, 322. Six shot, 331. Fifth shot, 334. Fourth shot, 344. Third shot, 367. Second shot, 367. First shot, 378. So, I mean, those are pretty good numbers uh, when you really think about it with how they do things. So, you know, I still love the burn LE. But I thought it'd be a little insight for some of you guys who like to just pop, 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 sugar happy with it. Nothing wrong with that, but um, like he had mentioned, they were originally developed for law enforcement, not civilian use. So it does make sense. Uh, they're not just going to start opening fire and assassinating you like if it was a firearm. Not They're not going to. They can't assassinate you with less lethal. But you guys get what I'm saying. They're not just going to dump mag after mag after mag like we do on a suspect. They're going to give them... A chance to de-escalate it and to get him to comply long enough for them to hopefully cuff him safely so he's not a danger to himself or them or anybody else uh so you know the le in that perspective what it was originally designed for i would have to say i still do like it um i still recommend it so something for you guys to take in consideration and think about. So 
that's it for this video guys like share subscribe and um once some of this oil sits and cycles through we'll go ahead and do another chrono graph on it maybe in a day or two maybe later tonight we'll see have a good day thanks for watching